7 is almost upon us, with crazy retro buttons and other nutty features, but also with the promise that it'll be the most advanced mobile operating system yet. Seth got his hands on it, and here's what he found out. Hi there, kids. iOS 7, let's have that chat. Hailed as the biggest change in Apple since Uncle Steve left for the big keynote speech in the sky, Apple is counting on iOS 7 to breathe new life into a line of products that remains top of the pile as far as pure engineered hardware quality goes, but has slipped noticeably on the software front. Once the undisputed king of smart mobile devices, Apple's failure to truly innovate on a software level has allowed their strongest competitor, Android, to challenge it where it matters most, how the thing works when it's in your hand. Apple needs iOS 7 to put them back on a par or just ahead of Android's best operating system. And if that happens, the top of the pops once more. iOS 7 will see its official rollout around mid-September of this year, coinciding with the launch of the latest model of iPhone. But while we wait, we have the second iteration of the beta version to dissect. And so, without further ado, let's check out the interior of this little baby. The first and most obviously radical change in this iteration of iOS is the snazzy new aesthetic. The vibe is bright, clear, flat, and punctuated with nifty touches. Also, check out how the view oscillates depending on how you hold the phone. I'll shire the oscillation. The dynamic background is another visual treat, and every native app is enjoying a brand new set of clothes. Just take it for granted that they all look brighter and cleaner. The verdict? It's lovely like a bright spring morning. One might be tempted to even use the phrase stunning. But beauty is only skin deep. Functionality stands the test of time. Let's take a look at a few of the biggest new features. For a start, it sports a variety of inbuilt options, including square readiness for Instagram, photo filters that apply in real time, and video zoom, booyah. Sticking with media, iTunes Radio is freely available to you if you're smart enough to have a US iTunes account and features a host of streaming radio stations that customize according to your listening habits. AirDrop's debut on iOS has more than a few Apple fanboys squealing with delight. And for good reason. This native Apple file sharing protocol is incredibly popular with Mac users and is now available on iOS 7. AirDrop allows users to share photos, videos, contacts, and anything else from any app with a share button using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Transfers are encrypted, which is nice considering we're all being spied on by Barack Obama. Still love you, Obizi. Sadly, if you're rolling with anything older than an iPhone 5 or fourth generation iPad, then the closest you'll ever get to experiencing AirDrop is to qualify for your pilot's license, climb to altitude, turn around and plunge the plane into the ground. But make sure your old iPhone's on board or it'll be a waste of time. Back on the usability front, double tapping home brings up full screen previews of various apps, giving you the opportunity to scroll back and forth and see previews of your apps in real time. Also, you can close them with a swipe of your thumb, which is terrific. But for us, the biggest improvement to iOS that comes with the new installment is the improved functionality of the notification center, the spotlight search function, and the all new control center. Swiping up from the bottom brings up the control center. This is an easy way to access your most used settings, including Wi-Fi, audio, brightness, and quick access to alarm, a calculator, camera, and flashlight. Similarly, you swipe down for notifications. Keen to search something? Pull down gently on any screen and Spotlight will show up. That's right, no more endless scrolling to search your device. Obviously, this beta version is subject to changes before Apple releases the finished product. But we've seen enough to impress us. So, my loves, will you be upgrading to iOS 7 when September rolls around? You bet your sweet patootie you will, and you'll be smart to do it too. Is iOS 7 enough to lift Apple back to the throne of undisputed king of mobile devices? Impossible to say. One thing's for sure, they weren't going to get there with the iOS 6.